Hello everyone, and today we're still in St. Petersburg. A little bit outside St. Petersburg, we're going to explore Catherine Palace. So Catherine's Palace was the house from the wife of Peter the Great who founded St. Petersburg. And we need to rush as well, there's a tourist group somewhere behind us. And we don't want to queue before of like, we don't want to queue after them. So uh, we're going to find the ticket office now which is uh, slippery as well, which is just over there. And uh, while we're there, I will give you the first practical information what you need to do, how to even get here in Catherine Palace, but that's for later. We finally went into the gardens just in front of Katharina Palace and we are here just a little bit before 10, 10 minutes before opening time, so perfect timing. And a practical tip what I will give you here is when you take transport from St. Petersburg, you will take the metro on the blue line, number two, all the way till the end to something called, well, it looks like cappuccino, so I will just say it's cappuccino. And from cappuccino you can take loads of buses are going there to Katharina Palace. Uh, we had K342 which only took 30 minutes. Well, Google Maps will tell you it's 50 minutes on the bus. It was only 30 minutes, so that's why we still have a little bit of time left. But for now, we are going quickly inside to avoid moisture of the tourist groups, and we'll see how the palace looks like from the inside. So Catherine Palace is a different experience where you have in the Hermitage Museum. We only stayed here for around two hours and it's like we just explored the whole first floor here on this section which is quite large but the angles are all the same and while the rooms are different it's kind of gives you the same expression for all the beautiful rooms that you have. The Ember Room is the highlight of this palace which we unfortunately couldn't capture for you but if I can find some pictures or things online I will put it there because you are unable to film this in the room itself. But it's reconstructed by the Germans because they took everything away during the Second World War and the original room got lost. So that's why they reconstructed it here. And it's very cute, those uh, kids groups are walking around. First we saw some uh, children dancing. Now behind me there's another uh, children group who are captured around and the lady there is uh, dressed up very nicely as well. You pay 700 rubles to get into Catherine's Palace and it's 200 rubles for an audio guide. If you are with two, you could share this audio guide easily with the two of you. You only need one because the volume is loud enough that you could hear together uh, the explanation at the same time. And now we're going to explore the park outside. While we were walking around in the park, we just met a very nice Australian lady who gave us a good tip. If you get into Katharina's Palace at 11 a.m., then you already have problems with the touristy groups and you may have to wait for them and you are not able to explore the rooms in your own pace. We didn't have that problem when we arrived at 10 a.m., but we noticed around 11, 12 o'clock that it got very busy inside. gives you a good impression how it was to live here in the old time. And also when we stroll down through the garden, it looks like a fairy tale here in winter time. But I can imagine that the garden looks even prettier in summer. However, that's it for Catherine's Palace. We will stay a couple of days longer here in Russia, first in St. Petersburg before we move to Moscow. If you want to stay up to date for what we are going to do more, hit that like button, try to smash that subscribe button, and I hope to see you in the next video.